All right, guys, I wanted to update you on something that I got from my buddy, Charlie Moorcroft. Uh, Charlie, as you know, is a good friend of mine and he is always hooking me up with some cool stuff. In this pond, I have something I didn't really think I would end up with, and that is an albino common snapping turtle. And you can see this guy is every bit albino. He's got like a lot of mud and muck on him, but I like to keep my turtles in a natural bottom setup and heavily planted. And just a perfect example of a common snapping turtle that happens to be albino. It has the, the red eyes that an albino typically has um, and just all those crazy albino traits. It's also sensitive to sun, so I'm keeping it here in the shade on my patio um, and also using a whole lot of plant cover and a lot of uh, kind of leaves and stuff for him to hide down in. So this way his sensitivity to the sun isn't gonna bother him too much, uh, but he's a really pretty albino common snapping turtle. Again, not something that I really thought that I would end up with, uh, thanks to my buddy Charlie Moorcroft um, for this amazing animal. It's gonna be fun to watch it grow up and kind of see how it changes as it grows. And um, we'll see if he stays as calm and, and easy going as he is right now. Uh, but I really like like the bright orange tail and the yellow pigment is, is really neat looking. And uh, so we're just gonna let him go back into his little habitat. Uh, but really cool to have an albino common snapping turtle. And it's really fun to, you know, kind of see the differences uh, when you do have something like this, you know, to see how it's different from, you know, the normal type. And, you know, with this one, the main thing I've noticed is it's definitely sensitive to light, likes to hide a lot. Uh, but typical of a common snapping turtle, this guy loves to eat. So he's been doing a lot of eating and um, kind of hiding out. So that is my albino common snapping turtle. Just a couple tubs down from the albino snapping turtle is this setup for hatchling turtles. And you can see right here is a, oop, you can see right here is a little hatchling Florida cooter. And this guy loves hiding out in the leaves and the plants that I put in here. Been putting on some good growth since he's hatched out. Gonna let him hide back in the natural little swamp that he's got here. Also in here are some hatchling Mississippi map turtles. I'm gonna see if I can find one. Ah, here we go, here's one here. Where is it? Okay. If you look right there is a hatchling Mississippi map turtle. And these guys do really good in here. Uh, there's lots of little insects and invertebrates for them to feed on. And that's exactly what they've been doing is just kind of going through and nibbling things. Uh, but let's get a good look at them. You can see the, the pattern on the belly. Really beautiful, intricate pattern. And these would be the Mississippi map turtle. Um, and you know, they have the, the little round iris and the crescent mark behind the eye. And just a nice example of a hatchling Mississippi map turtle. Look at that shell. These guys are really cool. I love seeing these guys. I love seeing them bask and, you know, typical of map turtles, they're very flighty. So as soon as they see me, they tend to, to kind of scatter, uh, but they do really good in this little tub setup and they just bury down into the leaves and disappear. And here's a better view of the tub setup. You can see I planted some of the um, parrot's feather in there. There's a basking log. There's a lot of uh, duckweed in there and they just do really good.